XT. The morning show starts now. Parents, is your teenage daughter doing everything she can to hide her acne? We have some helpful hints so that she can put her best face forward without wearing makeup. So parents, right now, your teenage daughter may be miserable because she's suffering with acne. And she may be putting lots of makeup on her skin, which, quite frankly, can make the problem worse. Joining us now with some solutions is Dr. Calpana de, de, de Pasquale from Avanti Medical Spa. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. I cannot, I mean, we were just talking. My daughter's nine, and I already am starting to think about this. And, and whether or not you have a daughter or even a son, acne is just a reality of life. And you've got some before and afters with some of the products that you've used that are, are pretty tremendous. Yes, yes. And it's nice because we use a multitude of treatment options in our medical spa. Um, sometimes what patients will come and tell me is that Accutane was recommended. And I feel like Accutane is an, a last resort for acne just because it's a medication, has quite a few side effects, harmful side effects. So we use a multitude of different approaches to combat acne in teenagers. So we have some of these before and afters. If you can kind mm -hmm. of walk us through, it's two different girls. So on the left, there, obviously, you can see the acne present, and on the right, I mean, the, her skin looks completely clear. What did you do then to help with this? Because it's more than just one product as an example or treatment. Yes, yes, it is. It's a multitude of things. So, first of all, we always start by starting our, our children, our teens, on a good skincare regimen, just because you want to remove that bacteria from the skin, but you don't want to use products that are going to over dry the skin, also, because that, that makes the problem worse. When your skin gets over dry, your body wants to produce more oil because it's dry, so that's a bad thing. Secondly, most of these kids have had microdermabrasions with extractions. So you know how these kids are watching on social media things like Dr. Pimple Pop or how to pop their own pimples. That's not really the best method. You know, we have a medical esthetician on staff. Basically, what she does is remove all the dead skin cells from the face and then extract all those blackheads and all those things that are just deep under the skin that you can't get to. And then last but not least, things like salicylic acid peels can be very, very effective in combating acne-prone skin. What would you say is the biggest mistake then that teenage girls or even boys make when it comes to preventing acne? I think one thing is that they think they don't need to moisturize, and that's mm. just not true because they think that, you know, acne is because of oily skin. We right. really dry, dry, dry. I've seen some kids actually put out rubbing alcohol on their face to dry their skin, and that's not a good thing. So the first one is over drying the skin. The second one is trying to take matters into their own hands by popping their own pimples. So that can lead to not only infections, but scarring, and that's just not something we want for the future. It's difficult to get rid of. And once you can understand why they do it, because they yes. feel like it's just this bullseye on their face, and they don't want other people to see it exactly. and it can take a while for that to basically go down it can it can and, and sometimes when you aggravated yeah. it gets more inflamed yes. it gets redder it gets more noticeable it's terrible it's just a vicious we all problem. remember it right <laughs> we I all do. remember it vividly it's terrible. but you know the thing is that if you get your uh, teenage child on a regimen where they're coming in pretty regularly to get the extractions done i think it really minimizes what pops up in between that they feel like they have to handle themselves you know we're talking about teenagers i was mentioning my nine-year-old and i'm already starting to see her skin sort of change a little bit i mean is it just teenagers or is there a certain age that you should start whether or not you have a, a you know a boy or a girl it's really not too early I mean depending on the products that you use you want to use good safe products without a lot of harmful chemicals and more natural ingredients that would be best but it's never too early to teach your children how to take care of their skin and especially with young girls you want to teach them how to properly take care of their skin moisturize and what they need to do you want to teach them about makeup and discarding old makeup and removing their makeup properly at night cleaning their brushes you know all these things can aggravate the skin and we just want to teach them as early as possible so they know what to do in the future and it becomes second nature. So with teenage girls who are wearing makeup, what would you say is the biggest mistake they make? First, I think that a lot of girls try to combat, or I, I won't, don't want to say combat, hide their skin problems with a lot of makeup. So that tends to make the problem worse. Yeah. So instead of adding so much makeup to cover everything up, it'd be best, it would be in their best interest to kind of work on the skin, use some makeup maybe to cover up some issues, but also really, really take that makeup off. Like, for example, I use a Clarisonic brush every night yes. because that really gets all that makeup off and makes my skin feel nice and smooth. I use my salicylic acid cleanser because it exfoliates and it, it's an antibiotic. Bacterial, so I don't want to have these because I'm we can get breakouts too. Sure. I mean, older yeah, women have it too, unfortunately. Yeah, well, unfortunately. Never escape it. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dave Pasquale. If you have a friend or maybe with a teenage daughter who might want to see this interview, missed it this morning, be sure to go to our website. We'll post it in its entirety later this morning on newsforjacks.com. Just look under the morning show page.